This is the Thermospig food probe, a food thermometer. It's a nice, comfortable shape, easy to hold, and it also fits comfortably into the hand. It's powered by a single AAA battery, which fits into the back, and I always like to see AAA batteries because it's so easy to source and replace. And the back just snaps on again into place. To operate the probe, there are two options. You can either switch it on and off using the red button, or you can simply withdraw the probe itself. And beneath it is a very discreet little switch, and that switches it on and off as the probe, probe is closed and opened like so. So currently it's recording 22.6 degrees, which would be just ambient temperature in the room. So to measure it accurately, what I need to do is measure something with a known temperature, such as boiling water. So I'll just turn it off now and you'll watch it switch off as the probe clicks back into position. I'll switch on the kettle, I'll boil some water and then take the temperature. The kettle is now reaching boiling point, which means it should be approximately 100 degrees. So as you can see, the thermometer currently measures 23.3 and as I put it into the boiling water, it should up, shoot up to 100 or thereabouts. So let's pop it in. This is going to be quite hot, even to hold it in place. We'll see what that measures. The temperature is going up now 98.6, 99, 99.2, 99.4, 99.6. The thing is now, as I withdraw it, what I need to do is hold this button here, the blue button, and that will then lock the temperature, which says 99.6 degrees. So I'd say that is pretty accurate. You can see now I've withdrawn the probe. I've released the hold button and the temperature is now falling. Without this hold button, what would happen is I would pop it into the boiling water, it would register the temperature at 100 or thereabouts, then as I withdraw it, as you can see there, 84.8 as I withdrew it is now dropping rapidly as it cools again. So you really need this hold button to pop it into the water which now will of course no longer be 100 degrees but still quite high then hold the button, withdraw it, read the temperature which is now 94.7 and then release and you'll see the temperature will drop now because it's measuring the probe which is just in ambient room temperature So the temperature now is starting to fall 52 degrees, 51, 50, see it's falling steadily. So that shows that it is an accurate thermometer in use. If it measures boiling water at 99.6, 99.8 degrees, I'm quite happy with that, bearing in mind the lid is also left open on the kettle during the time I'm measuring so it's not going to be completely 100% accurate because the kettle isn't sealed. But I think this is a pretty good thermometer. It's one I'm happy to use and have confidence in and say it's very convenient. Simply fold the probe back underneath, click the switch and it switches off again. So it's very practical, very easy to use. And when it comes to sterilising it after use, then you can do as I've just done and place the probe in, obviously wash the probe first and then place it into boiling water and leave it for a few minutes to sterilise. So very, very easy to use. You can see now ambient temperature is 25.8 degrees and now we'll switch it off. Very good buy, very useful, very convenient, very handy.